Hello, and welcome to Read Along with Heather. Today, we will be reading Franklin is Lost by Paulette Bourgeois and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Franklin could slide down a riverbank. He could count forwards and backwards. He could zip zippers and button buttons. He could even walk to Bear's house all by himself, but Franklin was not allowed to go into the woods alone. One day, Franklin said, I'm going to play at Bear's house. All right, said Franklin's mother, but be home for dinner by six o'clock. She showed him the time with the hands of the clock. And Franklin, she warned, don't go into the woods alone. Franklin raced down to the path over the bridge and across the berry patch. Bear was there. Fox was there. Goose and Otter were there. I'm here, huffed Franklin. What are you playing? I didn't see, shouted his friends. And you're it. Franklin started counting. Hide and seek was his favorite game. He wasn't very fast, but he was very clever. He knew Bear always hid in the berry patch. Franklin looked around. He saw a, sh a shaggy paw swipe at a branch of berries. I see you, Bear, he called. Franklin spotted feathers and fur under a bridge. I see you, Goose. I see you, Otter, he called. Only Fox was left to find. Franklin walked this way and that. He looked into bushes and searched under logs. He walked along the path and over the bridge, and without even thinking, he walked right into the woods. Uh-oh. He walked into burrows and all around trees. Franklin searched everywhere, but he couldn't find Fox. Fox wasn't in the woods at all. He was hiding inside Bear's house. After a while, he shouted, Can't catch me! But Franklin couldn't hear him. It was too far away. Where's Franklin? asked Fox. Nobody knew. They waited a long time. Bear's tummy finally grumbled. Finally, Goose said, It's almost six o'clock. Franklin must have hurried home for supper. Of course, they said, and off they went. At Franklin's house, the, the clock struck six. Franklin's parents were annoyed. Their supper was almost ready. By half past six, they were worried and went looking for Franklin. Franklin's father searched along the path. Franklin, he called. Where are you? Franklin's mother talked to his friends. Where's Franklin? She asked Bear. Where's Franklin? She asked Daughter and Goose. Where's Franklin? She asked Fox. Nobody knew. Now they were worried too. It was getting dark. Franklin turned one way and, an and then another. Even every tree looked the same. Every rock looked the same. He couldn't find the path. I'm lost, said Franklin in a tiny little voice. He couldn't remember which way he had come. He couldn't, he didn't know which way to go. He was tired and frightened and all alone. Franklin curled up into his dark, small dark shell and waited. Somebody would come, sometime. Wouldn't they? Dark shadows f flitted across the rocks. Who's there? whispered Franklin. But no one answered because it was the clouds blowing across the face of the moon. Woo! Woo! Who's there? whispered Franklin. But no one answered because it was an owl far away. Who's there? whispered Franklin, but no one answered because it was a wind, the wind whistling through the trees. Franklin tried to sleep, but he, every sound made him jump. He was humming himself a little too when he heard crick, crack, crick, crack, crick, crack, squish. Who's there? whispered Franklin, but no one answered. And Franklin heard a new sound. It sounded like someone calling his name. He heard it again. Here I am, here I am, Franklin shouted over and over. Crick, crack, crick, crack, crick, crack, squish. 
Franklin's parents came over the knoll. There you are. They hugged him and kissed him and held him tight. We were so worried, said Franklin's father. You were told not to go into the woods alone, scolded his mother. It wasn't on purpose, sniffled Franklin. I was looking for Fox and I forgot. Well, thank goodness you're safe, said Franklin's parents. They found the path and walked all the way home. Their supper was still warm in the oven. And two helpings of everything, Franklin had something important. After two helpings of everything, Franklin had something important to say. I'm sorry, I, I promise I'll never go into the woods alone again. Even if Fox hides there, asked his mother. Even if Bear hides there, asked his father. Even if everybody hides there, said Franklin. It was half past bedtime. Franklin crawled into, into his warm, safe shell. Good night, dear, said his parents. But no one answered because Franklin had fallen fast asleep. And that's the end of Franklin is Lost.